life first. I'm sure. What if I told you that I think we take that verse lightly? When Paul was writing that verse, if you read the verses before, he basically says, I've been through the ups and downs. I've been full. I've been starving. I've been at the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. But still, at the end of it all, I got through it because of the power of Jesus Christ. Notice he doesn't say that I can do some things through Christ who gives me strength. He doesn't even say I can do most things. He says I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Can I get an amen on that? So going back to what I said earlier, I think we take that verse lightly. I forget where I heard this. Someone, someone said, God is only as powerful as you allow him to be. I probably just stepped on some toes. I might be messing with some theology too. But God is only as powerful as you allow him to be. What do I mean by that? I think we put God in a box. We look at our situation and we say, man, it's just too great. Or you think I'm too dirty. I'm too this or that. My situation is too whatever for God to handle, for God to clean. Those are lies that the devil feeds you to ensure that God's power does not live in you. When Jesus was leaving his disciples, he promised them something greater. For a while, I struggled with that. I thought, what could be greater than walking and talking with Jesus? And yet here is Jesus telling his disciples, hey, it's better if I go. Trust me, just let them leave. Holy Spirit. That was, that was a response I was expecting from a Southern Baptist church. <laughs> I grew up Southern Baptist, so I can say that. So, I missed it for a long time. I went to church since probably before I could walk. My, my parents raised me and my sister going to church. And I miss it. It's about a relationship with God. And my Southern Baptist Church talks about that. So I'll check that off the list. But how do you have a relationship with God? You go through the Holy Spirit. Period. God gave us the Holy Spirit while we're here on this earth. With the Holy Spirit, not only becomes, not only comes that relationship with God, but it means power. Because Jesus also says, hey, I also expect you guys to do even greater miracles than I did when I was here. And that's whenever I was just like, wait, wait a second. We're talking about Jesus. Water and wine, healing sick people, raising people from the dead, Jesus. And here is Jesus telling us that we're going to be doing even greater miracles than he did when he was here. I missed it. I have a feeling that some of you may have missed it. It's okay. 
cherish them, just be frank. If that's what he expects us to do, what do we have to show for it? Going back to Philippians, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Say that with me. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. All things. Say all things. All My question for you guys tonight. By the way, this is why I come and do concerts. We didn't bring a lot of lights with us. We brought these defective cryo cameras with us tonight. We like to have fun. Jump around. Look really weird. That's what we're at. That's not why we're here. This is why we're here. Please, if you don't hear anything else I say tonight, hear this. Do you believe Philippians 4.13? I'm sorry, what was that? If you do, it's life changing. And here's why. If you believe that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength, when you're walking with the Holy Spirit, that means that you and I are limitless.